The JF-17 Thunder, a multi-role fighter aircraft, represents the collaboration between China and Pakistan. Designed for air superiority, ground attack, and maritime operations, the JF-17 has been a game-changer for Pakistan Air Force and an attractive option for other countries. The JF-17 was developed as a cost-effective alternative to more expensive Western fighters. Designed to replace aging MiG-21s, Mirage 3, and F-7 in the PAF, the JF-17 development began in the late 1990s with Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, CAC, of China as the primary partner. The aircraft was designed with affordability, performance, and multi-role capabilities in mind. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, PAC, was responsible for its production, marking a significant achievement for both countries. The JF-17 Thunder has an impressive spec sheet. It is 14.9 meters long, with a wingspan of 9.45 meters. The aircraft can reach speeds up to Mach 1.6 and has a range of around 1,200 kilometers. Armed with a 23mm GSH-23-2 twin-barrel cannon, the JF-17 also has seven hardpoints for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and fuel tanks, making it versatile in combat situations. One of the biggest advantages of the JF-17 is its affordability and low operating costs compared to Western aircraft. It is a robust and capable aircraft, easy to maintain, and has been steadily upgraded through variants like Block 1, 2, and 3. Its ability to be armed with advanced beyond-visual-range missiles and air-to-ground weapons makes it a formidable competitor. The JF-17's ability to integrate Chinese, Western, and Russian weapon systems gives it flexibility and adaptability in combat. The Block 3 variant features advanced avionics, including an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, further enhancing its combat capabilities. In conclusion, the JF-17 Thunder is a testament to international collaboration and innovation in the defense industry. Its combination of affordability, versatility, and growing capabilities makes it a significant asset in modern air forces around the world. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more dives into military technology and history. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.